Over many years of ministry, I can say some things now that I might not have said many years ago. Uh, and one thing is, I can truthfully say, I've seen some problems in churches over the years that had a death grip on church. And one thing I recognize in revivals over the years, I, I've been blessed to pastor two churches, is traditions of men. And, and Christ speaks about this. Now, there are good traditions that we need to hand down to our children, our grandchildren, that are biblical. But there are a lot of traditions of men that have just killed the average church. I read today in, in Mark, the seventh chapter, and it's talking about the Pharisees and scribes were criticizing the disciples, how they washed their hands, how they washed uh, pots and cups and all of this. I, I won't deal with that, but I want to read verse 9 and what Jesus says about what they were doing. He said, Full well you reject the commandment of God that you may keep your own tradition. You reject the word of God, commandment of God, that you may keep your own tradition. Over the years uh, in revivals, on the first night of revival, I've heard this too often being said, maybe to let me hear what was said before the service started. I hear things like this, well, we have never done it that way. And people say that, we've never done it that way. Uh, there's been churches that, that have split over where the piano sits or where the pulpit sits, and they've just split, divided over things like that, uh, traditions of men, you know. Uh, and then it, the life that could be in the church, the worship, the Holy Spirit, that was all gone. And Christ says here again, you reject the commandment of God. In other words, you, you reject the word of God. You know, even bylaws that churches work up among ourselves, uh, they work up bylaws. And they change bylaws every once in a while to uh, make it better for the people. They change a bylaw. We don't have bylaws. The Bible, I believe, is, is, is the way we should operate. You don't have to have men or women sitting around a table trying to work up some bylaws on how a church will run when the Bible teaches us how a church should operate. This goes back to traditions of men. And I'm telling you, uh, I've been here a long time in ministry, and uh, it's been good. But I have seen uh, revivals that could not come because of people's traditions. They said, we just don't do it that way. I mean, even microphones in churches throughout the years, I've dealt with this. We don't, we don't have microphones here. You know, all these things that, that's went on because handed down from one person to another, and then people amen that, and it's not even Bible. So I'm going to go down now to Mark 7, verse 13. Listen to what Christ says here. This is what Jesus says now. Making the word of God of none effect through your tradition. Through your tradition. You're making the Word of God, the Bible, of none effect through your own tradition that you have among yourselves. I am pretty well, I guess, uh, I don't change too much. My wife, I, I, I just don't change. I have to really uh, think about uh, making a change in my own life. I mean, I went many years in my life, for example, I didn't wear uh, pleated, pleated pants. Uh, I just wouldn't wear them. I just wouldn't. I wouldn't even put on a pair. And I went years. My wife said, why don't you try on a pair of pleated pants? I said, no, I'm going to wear this other kind. And one day I tried on a pair of pleated pants, and I made mean, it feel good. And I bought all pleated pants. I just don't change quickly. And uh, I maybe it's just kind of uh, an old-fashioned person. But I have discovered in Christianity and churches, uh, I mean, to hold fast to something because granddaddy done it, because daddy done it, or they didn't do it. If it's a tradition and it's not Bible, then that can actually make the Word of God a not effect. When something comes up in the church that we've never tried before, if it's Bible, it's time to try it. It's time to get with it no matter what grandmother said. 
in many churches, I mean, I've seen this, and it's a sad thing to see. Even today, it's still going on. You realize today, and we have churches, even small or large churches, mostly small churches, and it's known by the community who runs that church. And many times it's a family or a couple of families run that church. And it's, it's, it's known that certain ones run that church. And the, and the pastor, the under-shepherd, he, no, he has no opportunity to lead the church unless he satisfies the families. And once he don't satisfy the families, then uh, he, he's gone. Tradition handed down throughout the years that's made the word of God a non effect. Now, all, a lot of this new stuff is not working because it's not Bible. But a lot of the new things that could work, this Bible would work. Just go into the Bible. And let's just do it the way God said to do it. So today you may be in a church or you may be one yourself that just you just you just traditional. You you won't you won't consider anything different than what you've been doing the last fifty years. But the Bible says it's okay to do it a certain way, then it's Bible. And we should do it that way. And not allow ourselves to die from tradition of the church that we attend to die from tradition. You know, uh, God has blessed us in this church in the last few years. We have seen things begin to be different. I'm telling you, for a long time, even in Clark's Chapel Baptist Church, we fought traditions of people that we all had in our minds. It's the way it's supposed to be, and we didn't get into the Word of God, and that's the problem, is we got to study the Word of God to find out what the Word of God says. And sometimes what the Bible says, because we've never done it, it seems kind of awkward. You know, man, that's strange because we've never done it that way. But since God says this is the way it should be done, it should be a green light. Let's go for it and then step back and see what God can do. I'm not saying today that everything handed down to us is wrong. I'm not saying that. I have learned a lot of good lessons from Older people throughout the years have taught me a lot of things. I listen to people, older people, and now I'm old myself. But there's a lot of things over the years handed down to me that was not actually Bible. They were just trying to control me with the way they thought it should be. And we left God out of it. And every time that we did, we got in serious trouble. So I just felt led to talk about traditions and how these things that Christ said, listen, you have made the word of God an effect for your tradition. You weren't about washing hands. You weren't about washing dishes. <laughs> and he said back, back in verse 6, he said, even with your, you honor them with your lips and your mouth and your heart, but your heart is far from me. You have your lip service and, and your words, but your heart is far from me. For in vain you worship me. Listen to what he says. Teaching for doctrines the commandments of men. You're teaching doctrines of commandments of man. What man taught you, that's what you're teaching again today. The same thing over and over again. And the Word of God never had a part in it to start with. You're just teaching what you heard all these years. Amen. And the same things year after year after year in some churches that wasn't true to start with. Over and over again. So, we're in the last days. And it's time for every church lay aside man-made bylaws, man-made rules, and man-made commandments. Get in the Word of God. Time is running out. Let's close this thing out as a church, the one church of God. Let's close it out, doing it the way God says to do it. And don't worry about Tom, Dick, and Harry. Do it the way God says to do it. You'll find yourself in a place of life, power, and liberty. Where the Spirit of the Lord is, there's liberty. Let's do it God's way in these last days. Until next time, when Clark Chapel Baptist Church, we trust with God's help that you would have wonderful days. Mm -hmm.